now let's create the screws so let's create a new geometry now then call it screws and try it without caps so let's go on top of this there is one screw here but now let's create this one plus uh, let's start with a tube let's make it on a y-axis let's it do it like this something like this should be fine let's just center it back don't have to be that precise with these so since you're gonna see only the since you can see only the top of it doesn't really matter doesn't have to be any depth to it so for the screw head let's put on the box let's make it something like this but we always can change it anyway think about where the screw is going to actually screw head let's duplicate it let's just move it on 180 and then just merge them together like that put down a boolean connect it to like that and now let's actually just once you have merged it let's just take back the bottom of it and, and now to make sure that our actually both sides changes together what you can do is from the box 2 let's just copy the reference and paste them inside box 1 both on X and Z axis. Just copy, paste as a relative reference like that. Now, if we change this one, you can see both of them are changing. Now, let's go to back to the tube and let's actually move it a little bit uh, further. Let's extrude it. Actually, let's do it like this. Let's take this and then just taper it inwards like that. So that there looks like there's actually some sort of a screw head on it and let's just bevel these like that and with the boolean let's just move these like that after the merge let's move these something like this one thing that we have to do is now just just bevel these edges like that that's it this is our first screw head Let's put in a normal over it and use it by face area like that. Since they're gonna be inside, we don't really need anything on it. Anything more than this. One thing we could do is also bevel the inner parts, but since this is these are actually two different objects, what you can do is put down a boolean before we actually instead of merge it we can boolean them together let's boolean them like that let's uh, in boolean let's union so then we connect to the edit of course our edit is going to be all messed up and bevel also so with the boolean let's go to the screw so let's move these just like that this is exactly what we did before and what we can actually do is also select the very bottom of it and move it like that so that it gets kind of like a like a screw has that it's not totally flat at the end of it like that and now let's just bevel it let's first of all let's just take these edges inner edges because these are actually if you take a look at the pictures for the screws they are actually more beveled than the outer edges just like these, let's just bevel them like that and now let's select these and bevel them very slightly something like this and now let's take a look at the boolean to get more clean edges inside it, which we can do is go inside the poly bevel and change the shape of the actual the actual fillet so you see by crease chamfer i think the solid looks the best one since it's a very small part of it doesn't have to be totally smooth and quadrified mesh in there so this looks just fine and now for the second 
screws it's a little bit different so let's take a look at them so you see that's basically the same but with the flat head on it you can actually you can actually basically just reuse this setup so for the setup let's use this normal after that we have created this screw after the boolean let's just take all of these let's just extrude them and we're gonna extrude them just outwards like that let's just take also the bottom of it and do it like this then just bevel this like that and that's it so this is going to be our second screw type and also we put so normal is going to be after the boolean since these are basically two different screw types from the one setup we have two different screw types let's take a look at the that's wrong one this one maybe even a little bit bigger we can make it let's go to the extrude maybe something like this yeah this looks good so we have now two screws now let's actually output them as an null nodes Let's color them, let's copy them, let's color them. Let's call him screw flat regular. For the actual placement of these screws, let's do this by putting down the grid. Let's go to the Y and Z plane and you can start doing something like this or whatever and what i want to do is actually make sure that it's basically in confounds so of this plane of this basically on a same witness at same z and y axis as this one so what you can do is actually use the bounding box for this one so we know that we want to make sure that it matches the the extract so that's going to be a top part of it like that so I just start writing inside the grid on the size so let's use a bounding box so first of all we have to reference our geometry so that's a slash that's going to be the exact top and then the axis that we want so that's going to be the underscore so now we want to make sure that it's on a z axis is going to be the length of it so that's going to be z axis so if we want to do it inside it like that so this is the same size as a z and now we want to also make sure that on the top of it that's going to be y axis just copy it inside here paste it and just from z to y so that's it and now let's just make sure that it's flush with this surface so I'll just copy this bounding box inside the center of the x axis so you want to make sure that on x press change it to x like that and since we are our object is right at the center of it all we'll do is this x we have to divide it by two like that this is a great basic one to ensure that we are right at top of this geometry and now we can just move it on two axes whatever we want so for this i want to select this and just taper in a little bit of it like that this is basically our screw holes we can change them where you want them like that so by the pictures it's somewhere around here like that that looks good and these just a little bit inwards like that and now what you can do you can just mirror it actually the mirroring gonna happen once we have copied to the point so let's leave that for now so after that it we are ready to copy the points so we want to copy the points our screw flatheads you can see we have a couple of problems with copy the points first of all they are not in the right position so we could use the attributes that are inside here the scale and p scale that are kind of a that we can randomize our we could even randomize our scale for all of these since it's just a screws let's just put down a transform right after the screw and let's just do this good old old school way and let's just 
groups like that. Copy the point, something like this. So that looks good. And let's scale them somehow, somehow in that. Yeah, I like that. And now we have to little bit, we have to move it a bit inwards. So for that, let's go back to the our grid. You know that this center is on. So what you can do is just divide it by two, and then we can just uh, let's say you want to subtract negative, subtract let's say zero point zero five like that. What you can do is with the middle mouse button when hovering over this value, you can just increase it without creating our custom channels. So something like this, so that it's flush with the surface, like that. And now all we have to do is mirror it. So after we have copied the points, let's mirror it, like that. For now it's right axis for me. And now we have screws on both sides of it. For the back of it, there's four screws that hold the fans in it. So what we can do is actually... Let's reference this cutout geometry for our bounding box, so we know that we can copy it right at the edges of this bounding box. So let's do this by this. Let's actually go back to the object level and let's select actually this geometry and let's go to the merge copy and this edit node. So this is the geometry that we want actually. And now let's put down a null node. Let's make it red. And let's with the caps, let's put in bounding box with all caps, bounding box for screws. This is basically just a reference for us to reference this geometry in our other other things. So let's go back to the our screws. And now in the, our screws geometry, all we have to do is let's put down a object merge. Let's actually select the object that we want to merge. So we know that let's do it slash 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 slash. So we know it's in a pack. Then back and there is our screw reference. So now we have imported this one. But the only thing that we want is actually the bounding box of it. So now we have to put down the match size and connect it to the second input like that. And now in grid, put down a grid. Make sure it's in, it's in, so it has to be in, uh, in X and Y, and then connect it inside here, like that. Make sure it's at center, we are all, only thing that we are really looking for is to make sure that it's, that it's at the center of this one. The depth of it we can adjust later, so, and for us not to make a whole mess of this with many copied points, we are actually going to use the same same method that we did with the buttons so we're going to just name them and then just gonna copy with the one big copy to points node so let's just let's just give some some place for our setup in here so now we have this one let's start naming our points let's call let's with null let's call it Back screws. Let's call. Let's make them. Let's make them maybe, maybe blue. So these are back screws, and let's duplicate our null. And these points are the side screws. Let's connect them. Rename them like that. And let's disconnect these copy to points because we're gonna do it later on. And now let's just set up our points that we're gonna copy to and worry about the thing that we're gonna copy a little bit later. Now for the bottom screws, let's do this like this. So first of all, let's put on a curve. Let's fix its selection and I know that there's a there's a screw in here and here. Like that. Let's turn off the visibility like that. So we have two in here. And I know from the pictures that we have two in here. So Let's just duplicate this curve and re reset selection and let's make them in here and here, like that. Now we have all the black ones. Let's merge them together. 
now what we need to do is make sure that we also take the three white ones so the, this is a little bit up and there so with that let's just duplicate this curve let's restart selection actually let's not restart it let's just duplicate it like that let's turn off the visibility let's just move it a little bit up and while the visibility flag is here go back to the curve and just start and then just start adding another point to it like that so now now to make any sense of this what i did is basically for all of these four groups i basically created no nodes so we know what exactly these are so our flat and the regular screws we basically want to give it a different so basically we need to give a name attribute to both of these so let's select the the flat ones merge them and select the regular ones merge them now let's give it a name attribute for our points just put our name let's call it so these are going to be our regular uh, that's not a, that's a in a group that's a name and uh, let's call this uh, flat now we have our group set up so since it's a point make sure it's actually a point class like since it's a point that we are copying to so that's the setup for us and now let's go to the screws and let's give it the same name attributes let's just name so now so this is this flat let's name it flat and regular And that's it for us for now. And now what we'll do is copy the points. Copy to that's not that's not right. Copy to points. Now let's like jump here into copy two. Let's merge them together. Copy the points here. And now this also measure merge them together. You can start here and then just copy the points. So first of all, let's make sure that our screws are at the right position. So go, let's go to the merge, right before the merge. So after the merge, we're going to just select them and put down a rotate tool, and then just rotate them to the po to the positive z axis like that. So now if you take a look at copied points, you can see that now they are facing this back, and also sides are facing at the right direction. But what is not correct is actually the actually the bottom of it because we do not have any normals for them. So for us to fix this bottom, we know that when these screws to face the face the negative y axis. So let's go to this to the lines that we just created for these. So these lines do not have any normal because these are just lines. So what you can do is actually create a normal parameter for them. So put down a point node it's point, point expression and in attribute select the an attribute that's normal and put down a value and write in negative one and then just duplicate it to this to the other one also like that and connect it to the other points also like that and one more thing we have to do is actually give a normal attribute also for these two planes that we are copying these the screws to so let's go to the to the actually these null nodes with the side and back screws let's put down normal for them before we actually output it as a null node just regular just regular node and that's it now let's take a look at our copy points you can see now they are actually correctly placed and they face actually correctly and now let's start scaling these so first of all let's go back at the same edit and let's start just scaling them inward like that and one thing to note that when you copy it it doesn't matter where on x-axis your screws are so you can see that now i move them outwards on a pot to the positive z-axis you can see i starting also the copying to points they are starting to move outwards from the from the y-axis so from our normal direction so just go here the middle mouse button 
make sure that the, they are just just enough to be outside of the geometry something like this so these we can can be pretty sure gonna work nicely but the back we gonna have to do manually because we are just matching the size of these but we are not actually matching the the very exactly this so let's go back to the back to the actual geometry so that's that's where the normal and the back and it ever the regular ones these ones so now let's just put down a transform like that let's go back to the result let's go back here and just put them right on it something like this and for us to match our copy the points just write in the name attribute as a piece attribute it's going to copy the right screw to the right point like that and one more thing we have to also mirror it these screws so let's do that quickly for our sites we know that this is a site flat node just put down a mirror node and for me it's going to automatically can be mirrored and now let's model the actual feed so the actual geometry is very simple it's just basically a little bit tapered cylinder with the holes so let's just create a new geometry node let's call it feet let's go in let's put it on tube let's do it like this let's make it in a y-axis so so how big you want maybe something like this let's taper it maybe a little to something like this now let's just poly extrude it inwards something like this and then next or extrude inside it like that now let's just take this let's bevel them now just it's very kind of not very extreme tapering but now let's just put down a grid let's put it one one size actually let's let's take a look at it so first of all let's go to the bottom view let's start just move it around where we want these feeds to be doesn't have to be completely perfectly centered so basically these are the points where we're gonna copy our feeds to like that this looks fine actually and now let's make sure that it's something like that the feeds are actually going to go a little bit inside so we can take care of that so that now one thing we have to do is actually have to now reverse it so just select it put down the reverse soap and that's it copy to points so geometry first point second now actually we have to let's move it to the z axis so that's going to be like that now let's take a look at the result obviously you have a bit of a scale issue so maybe like that let's just move it outward in a z so you see in z it's actually basically going to move it like that so you see these screws let's take a look at this so these screws probably should be moved a bit if you want to fi keep these feet in there so what i'm actually going to do is let's keep them in here actually let's just move this grid around just get these feet out of the way of the screws so we can individually move these because our soldering is not completely at the center it is completely centered on a on the x-axis though so when you move it on x you can see it's basically at the same points on both sides practically so this looks fine like that one thing we should probably do is close this front of it so what you can do is just go to the extract front let's put down a simple grid like that and in simple grid let's make it in a x and y 
let's put it match size like that and so for our bounding box it will be our geometry like that and let's take a look at the result so first of all let's scale to fit like that so now we basically have put it inside this one so that's almost good enough for us only thing we have to do is just a little bit more of a moving around so first of all let's reverse actually this grid so it's normals are showing out towards like that and now let's combine our end result of this and our match size and then as an output node like that let's put down also normals for our grid like that after the match size you can just see we can't really you can try to uniform scale but easier is just select it and then just move it around then just go to the end result and let's just scale them a little bit inwards if it doesn't clip something like this something like this because there is actually display on it so obviously we can also create a glass but that would be that would be like uh, with the since you want without any materials to see that there's something inwards but if you want a glass then we could just create a simple polygon and then add some glass material on it but for now we just want to make sure that it looks like there's geometry behind it like that now let's clean up our buttons so let's go to our buttons geometry node and inside but well, there's a couple of ways we could do it let's just manipulate our actual points that we created instead of actual geometry so let's go to the merge so we know that this usb has to be below so let's just select this one in points let's select our this one i just move it inwards like that so it's a little bit like that an actual object and then we probably want to you take these and move them a bit inwards something like this and for the rest of them they are in f they are in fine positions for now now only thing we have to do is create a handle and the back port for the electricity plug and that's it so see you in the last part of this tutorial series